So good morning. We're uh, out on location in the only other house that I'm allowed to go in, which uh, is a sentence that I never thought I'd utter, but uh, I guess if anything we've learned in the last year is to expect the unexpected. And today we're thinking about what happened to the disciples after Jesus was killed. So they'd just seen their teacher, their mentor, arrested, tried, tortured, killed and then dead in the tomb. And furthermore to that, the rumours that the Jews were out to get them as well and crush this, um, this little movement uh, before it started. Where would you go to feel safe? Now, uh, I'm just going to take a look at a sign that hangs up in my brother's house and I love it. It's, uh, it's fun. So let's just have a look at that now. And now we can see the real reason why I came on location here. So this is really the reason I came over was to play in my nephew's castle while he's out. Uh, and uh, that's where we go to find uh, and think about the disciples. They were hiding. They were feeling very anxious. What was going to happen next for them? Were the authorities going to turn up and kill them? Now there are two choices when you are in a siege. You can run away and hide and stay, or you can go out and rush and attack the attackers and fight. Fight or flight. Now as more things open up tomorrow, what are you looking forward to doing? Looking forward to going back to the shops? The top two that I've heard seem to either be people are desperate for a haircut, or for the gyms to be opening up. And having been in lockdown for what seems like forever, our worry level seems to be up and everybody will be going through the tension of whether to rush out and do all these new things or to hide away in their homes and help themselves feel safe. How do you choose which one of those to do? And what do you feel about the choices that other people are going to make in that situation? Well, let's go back to how Jesus is feeling and what Jesus does for his followers hiding away in that upper room. The resurrected Jesus walks through the, uh, walks through the locked door. Amazing, really. He's alive. And he comes in and he just says, peace be with you. Now I think more than anything at the moment, that's what the world is crying out for and we're crying out for. It will be really interesting for us to see what doubting Thomas, denying Peter and the scared rest of them will do next. But safety turned out not to be a place, but it turned out to be found in a person. May you all find the Prince of Peace this week. Shalom.